the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Christ and count all else as We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Scott from People of the Cross again. We come to you each day here from the desk of the pastor. I'm doing this as just to a reminder of who Jesus Christ is, the Son of God, and the many blessings that He brings to us, and how we're to be praised, and how we're to praise Him. We're located here in Los Benos on Highway 152, or called Pacheco Boulevard, and I'm looking off to Baskin Robbins because that's in the center to where we are at. And I am the senior pastor, and uh, I am here today, and I want to share with you just a little bit uh, of scripture today and I want to be coming to you again from Psalms. I'm coming from Psalms 103 uh, verse 16 it says for the wind passes over it and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more. It's talking about the beautiful blossoms you know here in the valley we have some beautiful flowers and, and trees and blooms and blossoms but they come and go the wind blows and they go away. But I'm going to share this next verse with you and it's talking about how this blossom, how this bloom never goes away, but it's always there. You know, I preached here a sermon a few couple of months ago talking about the hidden blooms and the hidden blossoms behind rocks and crevices that we don't see and representing people that you think you're not seeing. But I want you to know one thing. You're not being missed. God sees you no matter where you're at. You are important to Him just as much as the people that are out in front, just as much as the President of the United States or the kings and rulers across the land. Each and every one of you is an individual to God that He made you all, and you each are as important to Him as the next person. There is no other person more important to Him than you. That's why He made us. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them who fear Him. We need to learn to fear God. We don't need to fear, fear the devil or the world or things about us. We need to fear God. He is the ultimate judge and He will judge us one day. Those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, it is time that you bloom, but you bloom and you blossom in the ways of God in the highways and the byways to wherever you're at, and you think nobody cares about you, no, you've done things in life that you think there's no way anybody could love me or care about me. I'm a drug addict. I, I'm doomed. I'm, I've, I've murdered. I've done this. Maybe this would reach out into a prison somewhere today. I don't know where it is all going, but I want you to know. I want you to know that Jesus Christ died for your sins. He died for you, and it's everlasting. And once you accept Jesus Christ, it can be everlasting. But it is your choice. There's no one other person that's going to make a choice for you but yourself. And you can do it very simply, as I do oftentimes in these talks from the desk. It's very simple. From your heart, you, you speak out, but you speak with your tongue and your voice. And with your own, your own words, you say, Father, forgive me. Forgive me of my sins. I'm such a sinner. I don't know how you could forgive me, but I'm being told that you will. So, Father, forgive me today for my sins. I want to be one of your children. I don't want to lose out. I know there's one or two places I can go. and It's either heaven or it's either hell. So today, from the pastor of People of the Cross and from the desk, I'm sharing with you of something that is everlasting and we're to fear God and no one else. His righteousness unto His children. It's the sense of the verse as, as known as the previous verse. It depends in the men and it de dependability on the mercy of the Lord. I'm telling you there's no greater mercy in life than the mercy of Jesus Christ. He died for you. He died for me. I am no better than you are, sinner. I'm just saved. I've been redeemed. And I know to where I'm going. And today I would like to invite you, wherever you're at, kneel down before your computer, your phone, your car, and just quietly talk out to Jesus Christ and ask Him to forgive you today. Me a sinner. Father, forgive me for I have sinned against you. 
But Lord, I want to do right. I want to do better. I want to make my way where I'm at to a good gospel church that preaches the Bible, preaches the truth, and want to know you and study your word and follow your good book. And that's how you would make it. And by that you reach out to somebody else. And that's called the fruits. And that's what we want to be. That's what we're doing today. We're being a fruit to reaching out like a tree in the branches that bear good fruit. That we spread our wings and we go out to those in the highways and the byways to wherever you're at. But if you're in Los Banos, we'd like to invite you down to people of the cross. Come, you will be welcome no matter who you are, how you're dressed. It doesn't make a difference. You come unto God as you are. He loves you. He has mercy for you. He wants to show you His love. So once again, from people of the cross, come down and visit us sometime. Till next time, God bless you. Look forward to seeing you soon. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Are the people of the cross?